Let's look at another example problem of entering cash flows into the HP 10B2 on the app. So here we have a T account that looks like this. So at time zero, you're paying out $95,000. Time one, you're going to receive in $4,895. At time two, also receive in 4895 And at time three, receive in 4895 plus 289049 for a sum received in that time period of 293 944. And as I said on the previous problem, if you're entering cash flows with the app, it's a good idea to do a side calculation of your final year, whatever it is, these examples just have three years, and have that sum of cash flows and net sales proceeds or pre-tax sales proceeds pre-calculated before you open up the cash flow menu. A couple reminders about doing cash flow entries. You're in one payment per year. Pay attention to your sign conventions. So our setup is gonna be one gold key payment and then gold key clear all. And then we'll open up the app. One gold key payment, gold key clear all. Now to open up this app with a separate submenu, just tap the CFJ button. And you're gonna see the initial cash flow and one time period available for you in the display. So tap into the first display for the initial cash flow and type in 95,000 plus or minus. That first flow is negative. Then tap into the amount box in the second row which is going to accept the value that you have for time period one of 4,895, tap number of times, tap one. Now create a second row by tapping the circle with a plus, tap in, this is gonna be for time period two, also 4,895, number of times is one. Create one more row, and here, for time period three, this is where we're going to enter the 293944. Tap in, 293944, number of times is one. Let's look next at another problem, entering cash flows on the HP 10B2 hard calculator or the similar app. So on page 11, this problem, you've got some down payment information, pre-tax cash flow, and your net sales proceeds. So with this information, your T account is gonna look like this. At time zero, you're gonna pay out $95,000. At time one, you'll receive in 4,895. Time two, receive in 4,895. And at time three, Receive in 4895 plus 289.049 for a sum of 293.944. And that would be your net sales proceeds or your pre-tax sales proceeds. That's a side calculation on the final year of cash flows plus net sales proceeds. On the hard calculator and the app that's similar, you don't have to do it that way. You could add these two up on the fly. You can do it either way. And let's remember we're entering cash flows. We're in one payment per year, and we must pay attention to sign conventions. So let's do this. And we'll start with one gold key payment gold key, clear all. 
one gold key payment, gold key, and I'm gonna hold down the clear all key just to make sure I'm in one payment per year. When we're entering cash flows, we're always in one payment per year. So the first flow at time period zero is negative 95,000. 95,000 plus or minus, and just press CFJ, and it'll tell you it's the cash flow at time period zero, and then release it. Next flow at time period one, 4895, press the same CFJ button, that's one. Do the same thing for time period two, CFJ. And I'll just add these two together on the fly. 4895 plus 289049 equals, now I have that same value, 293944 in my calculator, press CFJ, and that's your entry for time period three.